In, um, in one of the book talks I gave in the launch of the book, I was at a major US university, I won't say which one, um, but after the talk, a professor pulled me aside, or a box professor said, I wanna show you something. This is really kinda neat. I said, okay, and he took me back to his office, we had a laptop out, and a little robot arm connected to the laptop with a cable, and a little airsoft pistol in the hand of the arm. And he said, check this out, look what I got. And I saw on the laptop screen um, my face, there was a camera on it, showing my face, and, and there was a little white box on the screen. And then, honestly, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, just instinctively, I moved my head to like line up in the box. I don't know why I would do this. Uh, the box flashed red, and the robot pulled the trigger. And uh, now it, it, it wasn't in a safety in front of it, it wasn't armed, but I heard the bolt slam forward and I almost jumped out of my skin. I was like, your robot tried to shoot me. He's like, isn't it cool? I said, like, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure, I mean, it seems a little rude at, the, at a minimum. Um, but talking to him, I said, this is really uh, interesting. Uh, what did it take to do this? He's like, oh, I did this in an afternoon. You know, I downloaded all of the software. He said, the hardest actually part of it was fire, finding out how to wire, you know, the wires into the pistol to make that work. Um, changed a few lines of code and, and was all done. Um, so this is a world we're gonna have to live in. We've already seen drone attacks from non-state groups uh, in the Middle East and in South America in a variety of settings. And they're gonna incorporate more autonomy going forward. And so we've gotta find ways to counter this technology uh, and find ways to defend ourselves against some of these potential uses.